Hey guys, today I will show you how to add an email account in Gmail so that uh, you can send and receive email messages in Gmail from your CloudRun email server. So I have a uh, successfully configured CloudRun to be my email server and using Roundcube as my webmail. As you'll know that CloudRun only allows two applications for free plan and if you want to add more you should upgrade to premium but in order to use the two applications we will not be using uh, roundcube uh, i have installed this to to be my webmail so that i can send and receive email messages but if you want to use other email clients you can you can also use a thunderbird or outlook if you have a license and for webmail uh, you can use either Roundcube or you can use a Gmail. So today I will be showing you step by step to add an account in Gmail so that you can send and receive receive email messages in Gmail from your CloudRun email server. So let's get started. So open your G Gmail and go to this uh, gear icon, this is a setting, and click see all the settings go to account and import next just go to add mail account and we'll add an email we have created in cloud run click next and we will import emails from my other account using pop3 so just click next that will, our username is our email and the password is your admin password in cloud run and your pop server is your mail that web shows the store you can find it in your uh, email go to email and this is your mail uh, pop3 smcp imap servers and um, use port 9 and 5 i'll be uh, checking this tree i will not be uh, checking this because i want all incoming messages to uh the inbox so just click account add an account sorry and just click next so i will be using an alias i will uh, put this in alias so that i can share all my email with um the this account gmail account but if you don't uh, just uncheck this one and just click next step and we'll be adding a mail server so i'll just the same ip uh same email address password and it will be sent to tls and the port is 587 don't use port 25 uh, and just click add account next uh, we'll go to our webmail in cloud run so i have uh, installed round cube to be my webmail uh, just click this one and copy this code and paste it here and click verify so we have added our e email in gmail so that we can use gmail as our uh, webmail and uh let's refresh okay and we have a uh, gmail confirmation so it's great we have successfully added an email to use uh, gmail so that will be our labels here is this one so okay we have successfully added our email in gmail so uh, you can check here so next we will send an email from gmail to another um, email so we'll send an email to proton mail so we should uh, receive an email from gmail as our uh, webmail and let's go to compose we will be using our email 
sent this to Shanks that to that Andy and let's say hello this is just me from Gmail email server from one cheers so let's put it in we'll just click send okay let's go to our proton mail let's refresh okay great we have received the test mail okay we'll uh, reply Oh, good. So we'll just click send and let's check. Okay, we have uh, successfully received an email from uh, Proton Mail. So that's it. Uh, if you want to use this method, uh, it's easy. You don't need to. You don't need to use. Um, another app in Cloud Run. You can instead uh, have this as your uh, website or other application, and you can use uh, Gmail to that so that you can send and receive email messages uh, e uh, from Cloud Run uh, using Gmail. And also, it is actually sync. And if you happen to send an email, it will be here it will appear here and as, as well as in your gmail account so th this method is great if you want to sync all, all your emails in one in, uh, in one webmail so don't you don't need to have another applications or webmail applications installed in your cloud and also you can all uh, configure cloud run to use Oh, sorry. You can configure a Thunderbird to use Cloud Run as well, and I'll putting a link on the description below. So uh, you should ch check this one out. And that's it. If this video helped you in, in any way, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, just write them on comment sections down below. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.